Yo guys, it's Slyro. You already know that today I'm bringing you guys my battle for the Battle Union. Um, if you guys, you know, for some reason still don't know by now, um, I have taken over the LA Galax Rays from my good friend Gabriel, and I will be having uh, the remaining matches for, this, for his season in the TBU. So yeah, um, if you didn't see the Team Builder video for this, it did go up yesterday. I will leave a link for it in the description. This week we are taking on Fridomion and the Welshians. So, um, it's been a couple weeks since I've had like a really good league style match, and I really wanted to put forth all my effort, and so I think I did that here. And I think, I think, I think, I think I covered everything. If I didn't, just leave a comment or whatever. Um, but you can see the six I'm bringing, um, and the six that he decided to bring, Fridomion decided to bring Entei, Vileplume, Latios, Fortress, Pilisk, and Gliscor. So, um, by the look of this, it was kind of scary, but at the same time, it was okay. Um, Entei was his only real physical attacker, because I didn't expect Glasscore to be offensive at all. Um, meaning that, uh, it just made the Pokemon that I brought, I, I definitely brought the right team, I feel. By looking at this team matchup, I definitely brought the right team, however, I knew Entei was going to be an issue, and I knew I couldn't just throw away, um, any of my special walls. Special walls meaning assault vest users because I have two of them. And I think that is it. So let's go ahead and get into the battle. Um, I saw this matchup and I thought about starting off with Mew and because Mew has stealth rocks and setting up hazards would be good. However, I didn't want him to leave Fortress and start hazard stacking me. Now he wouldn't be able to know that he could hazard stack with my Mew, but he can and if you figure that out or if he took the chance then I don't have a spinner or a defogger like, I didn't bring Rapid Spinner Defog on any of my mods this week, therefore, I didn't want Hazards to be set up. So the mod that I thought that would take on Fortress the best was either going to be Hippowdon or Electros. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to show my hand as far as the Hippowdon set goes, so I actually decided to lead off with Electros, and we're going to see what he decided to lead off with. So, uh, Gabriel so far has one win this this season, so we're going to try and pick up the second win, and he actually decides to lead Glasscore. This is something that I thought could happen, and I thought we had a decent ma uh, decent matchup. Um, knockoff, I was okay with taking the knockoff, because I didn't really want to switch anything else in to take the knockoff, and I just go straight for the Acid Spray. I actually thought I had Ice Punch and forgot that I took off Ice Punch for this battle, and instead put um, Acid Spray on. So he goes for knockoff, clearly doesn't do that much, so that does reveal that he is defensive. Um, pretty sure he's physically defensive. The acid spray damage also kind of works with that. So, that's what that is. Knowing that he can't really do anything more because his only attacks most likely are going to be knockoff and maybe earthquake. Uh, seeing as he can't earthquake because I'm an Electros, he basically has to switch. And I decided to go for a flamethrower because he's only a few switches that he could have to a flamethrower. And he decides to switch in Vileplume, which I thought was pretty interesting um, as it takes well over half. Um, and then he goes for Sunny Day. It was a speed high unless he had speed investment, which he might have. I didn't actually ask him. Um, but it doesn't matter too much. He puts up the sun as I go for Flamethrower, so it's a power to Flamethrower. Anyway, and I was like, okay, well, we've already got one kill down. So we are starting off pretty well. I don't have a Salt Vest on Heliolisk, and he does have... Um, uh, I'm sorry, I don't have a, a Salt Vest on Electros, and he does have this Heliolisk, meaning I can't take the hit as well as I would have wanted to, the reason I brought the Assault Vest, but... I figured the trade-off was worth it, and I decided to go into Meloetta as he reveals Hyper Beam. And at this point, I was just like, what? Hyper Beam? So I was definitely not prepared for Hyper Beam. And of course, he reveals being Solar Power, so he does take damage from being in the sun. Knowing that he has to recharge, I can get a free hit off here, and Psychic does a lot of damage. Um, so I decided to do that. And then Solar Power actually kills him, so Heliolisk is down turn 2, so I don't need to worry about Electros not having an Assault Vest because I don't need to switch into Heliolisk anymore, which is great. Now the only thing I need to worry about is switching into Latios, so I need to keep this Meloetta around, and of course he brings an Entei in the Sun. While every part of me wanted to bring in Hippowdon, if he was banded, he could have just done so much damage to me, and it, I, couldn't, I couldn't chance it. So I go ahead into Gramble and get the Intimidate off, because I figure it would help in the future, and he goes for Sacred Fire, and he misses. Um, this didn't matter too, too much because I end up basically sacking off, um, Gramble as it is. I do get some damage off, which would not have happened had he hit the first one. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't know if it changed the result of the match too, too much. Um, it's really hard to say. And he didn't get the burn, so that's also, uh, so I did way more damage than it otherwise would have. I sacked off Gramble here knowing that I don't have anything else. Also, by this damage, I knew that he was choice banded, um, Entei. So I just didn't have a switch in. 
uh, Entei was his only physical attacker, so I didn't really need to keep it around. If I could get Mew in with Reflect, it would be great. Um, I thought about going into Mew here um, as well, but he was already at low health, and so I decided to bring in Hippowdon. If he burned me, if he went for Sacred Fire, which he was choice into, and he burned me, I could still take him out with an Earthquake. So, I decided to go for the Earthquake, risking the fact that he could Sacred Fire me and burn me. Knowing I outspeed, um, I reveal that I am Expert Belt and Fire Fang, a max attack adamant, um, Expert Belt, Fire Fang, takes us out. I don't know if the crit mattered, I actually did not take notice that that was a crit. Um, in the in the match, so I I really don't think that crit mattered, but I'll have to I'll have to double check that and recalc. But I don't think it mattered at all. So he go ahead he goes ahead and he brings in Latios and like I said, what I stuck Meloetta around for you know was for things like this was for this Latios and he actually missed the Draco. Um, this mattered a little bit, but again you'll see here um, he actually goes for Draco again and he hits. So. Uh, he wouldn't have been able to take me out. Well, he would have been able to take me out without really taking any damage. So I, it I, it does matter. It does matter actually a lot because then he could have went for a second Draco and he would have taken me out uh, before me getting off any damage. And I do get a lot of damage off because I go for Shadow Ball. He didn't really have any great switch-ins to this, um, so I had to do that. <laughs> um, and we both get hurt by Sandstorm, and Sandstorm damage actually does not take me out. I live on one, so. Figuring I can't really do anything else, I figured I might as well stay in and go for something. He actually reveals the Tailwind, um, which is really cool. Um, I was like, okay, and I went for Psychic just in case he did switch out. I didn't think he would, but you never know. And I also get kind of lucky again here as the sand runs out. That's not really lucky. Uh, I'm getting lucky with the kind of the turns. I didn't really plan that, but sand runs out, so now... Um, Meloetta stays alive, meaning that I can waste one turn of Tailwind. And of course, I'm just going to sack Meloetta off here because I don't want to switch into um, this Entei at all. So now, the thing is, the Mew that I brought is kind of starting to backfire because I could outspeed with Mew, but I don't have any attacks to take it out. So I'm forced to go back into Hippowdon and do the same thing as I did before. I can go for an Earthquake and just take this thing out or just do damage to anything that wants to switch in, which was kind of risky because he had a Glide Score and... Um, a Latios, oh no, no, the Latios was dead, but he had a glass score, so he, he could have switched it in something. Um, but either way, he doesn't get the burn again, so he actually gets the bad side of the 50-50, uh, the 50% chance for burns both times, and I just take him out with an Earthquake. Um, so of course we are looking really, really solid here, but I think this is the part of the battle where I kind of start choking the game away. I let Hippowdon die, I thought it, I wasn't sure if it was going to die or not, but there was no reason for me to switch out in my opinion, because I just get a free switch into Electros, and then this happens. Alright, so he knocks off, and he crits. I go for the Acid Spray, because of course I don't have anything that can do too, too much to him, and then I make a really big miscalc. For some reason I accidentally put that he is at minus four special defense, and so on the calc, it read that it was a 100% chance to kill a physically defensive glass score, which I had already figured that this would be. So what I should have done is gone for Giga Drain here to get off some damage and also heal up my own health, but instead I went for Flamethrower because I thought it would kill. Now this means that Electros is going to die to another knockoff. This is no bueno, and actually he actually goes for Protect first. He's trying to get up his health, um, which is good. So, and oh my gosh, I'm really, uh, basically at this point, I should have been able to take him out with Electros, and that should be game. However, because of the fact that I miscalced and I didn't look at it right, um, Electros is actually going to go down here, and then I completely forgot that I went for Acid Spray, so at this point, I'm thinking that he's still at max special defense, or he, like, he doesn't have any special defense lowers. If I remembered that he didn't, or that he... I was at minus two special defense. I could have gone into extra drill right here, and I could have hidden power iced it, and that would be the game. However, I go into Mew, set up a reflect because Earthquake was going to take me out. I figured hidden power ice isn't going to isn't going to kill. Um, I figured he was going to go for Earthquake, and it would kill. But if I reflect up, then it won't. So basically, I dragged this battle out longer than it had to, just because I forgot about the special defense drops. Um, the only attacking move I have is Super Fang, which can never take this thing out. But I kind of just hope to get some more chip damage because I was like, well, he hasn't revealed Roost. Maybe he doesn't have it, but of course he has it. Because why would you have a defensive glass score and not have a Roost? Um, so I have the Reflect up for no good reason. Um, I guess now it means I could switch into switch into a hit. But for some reason, I was still under the mindset that I wouldn't be able to take him out with a Hidden Power Ice. 
and I'm just taking unnecessary damage with my Mew, I'm wasting unnecessary turns, I've already apologized to Frito and I apologize again for basically wasting his time, but it was because I uh, f completely f forgot that I went for Acid Spray and that his special defense uh, had been had been dropped. So I had to, uh, once I did realize that uh, he was at minus two special defense, I was like, wait a minute, I can switch into Exodrill. So I decided that now is the time to switch because Reflect was still up and I was like, maybe he'll go for Roost this turn. And he actually goes for Knock Off and he knocks off my life for him. So that's, you know, it happened. It's fine, and because of where he's at, if he hadn't been at minus two special defense, he would have flipped it. But because he had the special defense drops, this was a guaranteed KO, uh, as far as I know. And we take out the glass Lord, and even though it was kind of ugly, we do get the 2-0 victory. So I had kind of mixed feelings about this battle, just because I I played okay. I played well at the beginning, and then I just played worse and worse as the game went on. I didn't notice little things like the special defense drops. Um, I didn't preserve Electros as well as I should have, and I made a couple of I just made a couple of minor errors like that that I, you know, really kind of. Uh, I'm not gonna let myself look down. I really need to, to get better because um, the remaining matches are not going to get any easier. So this is one of those things that I'm just going to have to get back uh, used to doing. Um, as I get back into league play, as I get back into competitive league plays, like the TBU, I want to be field star stuff, and I need to start remembering to notice these little things, not miscalc, um, maybe not bring a view that can't kill something, so little things like that I'm going to have to work on. However, we are going to get kind of the lucky side of it, and we do get to 2-0 victory, so that is basically going to be this match. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about this. Um, I think five of the members of my team did really well. I just, the news said was awful. I don't I don't know why about that, but either way, um, that's gonna wrap it up for this battle. Next week we are gonna be taking on Super Gassy and the New York Shellmans, I believe. And that, like I said, it's not getting any easier from here. So I'm gonna have to put in all the work I can to uh, try and not make mistakes like this because. You know, mistakes like that will cost me if I continue to do them in the future. So, um, that's going to end it up, end it off here. If you guys enjoyed, let me know your thoughts on the battle and everything like that in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys uh, next time. So, thanks for watching, and until the next video, guys.